Are you trying to get your drone to follow you as you walk? Maybe you're trying to add some really epic shots to your vlogging or whatever kind of cinematic setup that you've got going on and you want that drone to be out in front of you flying backwards with the camera pointed right at you. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do that with the DJI Mavic Pro coming up. What's up guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and on this channel I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content for your YouTube channels and your productions. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and sticking around. So before we get too far into the video, I wanted to take a second and show you a new case that I got for the Mavic Pro and the controller. I'm really enjoying these cases. Um, I got them from Amazon. I'm going to leave links in the description below. Basically, it's just a small case that you can throw into any kind of backpack that you might already have. So if you're taking out your Mavic and you don't want to take a big full case or something, you can just throw it in this guy. It's a hard shell um, on the outside, so that's kind of nice. And then inside, it's just uh, an open compartment. It does have a little bit of outlining there for uh, the Mavic specifically. So that sits right in there and close it up, zip it up, throw it in your backpack. The controller case is very similar. Again, like a little hard shell type thing. Uh, and then inside they have just a small little cutouts there to make sure that your your buttons and your controller fits in there suddenly. And then the company that makes this also makes this nice little guy right here for the joysticks. And so basically uh, all it is is just a little 3D printed piece of material that goes over and protects your screen and your joysticks. If you've ever thrown your controller into a bag or something, you'll know that these can kind of get tweaked to the extremes. And so this just keeps them nice and flush there and keeps them from being moved around. You throw those inside of your case like that and you're good to go toss it in any bag that you've got that you're already carrying around and you've got your Mavic with you a nice added bonus is they do include a lipo safe battery bag as well that's the only thing is that it doesn't include anything to like carry your batteries with but it does have this one so if you're flying or something or uh, traveling with your bag it does have this nice lipo safe battery bag that comes with it so pretty cool little case I'm gonna leave links in the description below if you want to check them out so in my opinion the best way to follow a moving target if you don't want to fly your Mavic manually. I think it's still active track mode. I'm going to leave a little link up here somewhere uh, for you to click on that tutorial if you want. But a lot of people have been asking me about this follow me mode um, and how it works. And so I wanted to show you that today just to make sure that we cover everything like I promised that's uh, featured on this drone. Uh, like I said, I still think that active track is like the best way to do this but follow me mode essentially uh, links the drone the Mavic's distance um, to the controller and keeps it in a fixed position so you really lose control from the right stick you do have um, altitude control from the left stick and you have rotation of the Mavic you also still maintain control of the gimbal so you can rearrange shots if you need um, the only thing is you have to be holding this controller in order to keep this working so if you were to set the controller down somewhere uh, and then have it track another subject it's not going to work right it's got to be it's linked to the controller so this might work really well if you're on a bike or if you're motorcycling or something like that or in a car that kind of thing and you want it to maintain a link to the controller itself um, but if you're like i said if you're being the the, the person doing the filming, I still think that active track is the way to do that the most efficiently because then you maintain control and that line of sight. Um, but if you're the one that needs to be in the footage, active track still might be the best way. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do the follow me mode on here right now. So let's get the drone up in the air and take a look. All right, so just like any other uh, mode, we're going to go over to the icon here. We'll swipe over uh, on the second page and you're going to see um follow me mode up here on the top right so you click on that and it's going to say aircraft always flies synchronously with your movement keep a fixed distance away in follow me mode um, you're going to hit apply but the thing is you have to be uh within a certain altitude of 30 meters so if i fly and lower my altitude you'll see that it turns red here um, that i'm at 30, 28 feet and as soon as i get up to keep going 
33 feet it turns blue and that means it can be activated then and so uh, it does have to be at a certain altitude to start but a pro tip here is you can start in this higher altitude and then lower uh, using the left stick you can actually lower the altitude of your Mavic and it will continue to track but in order to start you have to be at this higher altitude now when flying the drone backwards obviously it doesn't have a um, sensor back there so you need to make sure that you don't allow this thing to fly into something else. So again, check your surroundings before you get started. All right, so I've enabled follow me mode. Um, I should have brought my little miniature tripod today for this, I didn't think about it, but I've enabled follow me mode. We're going right now and you'll see the angle of the drone is up and away from me. I'm just gonna walk some here and you can follow along uh, on the screen with what the Mavic is doing. And as I walk, again, I wanna keep a line of sight to my Mavic at all times. But it's going to actually, but it's going to actually keep me in the frame the entire time. I just want to make sure I was all focused up there. So even if I walk beside or behind this big um, bush pile here, it's going to make sure everything stays nice and in the frame. Now it might not be the framing that I want. So what I can do is take my controller left stick. Maybe I'll drop the altitude some and again we're well under our 33 feet now but you just had to be there to start right so now i'm walking and let's go ahead and move with our left stick again so we get this kind of angle and now the mavic is actually flying um, backwards and sideways at the same time so that's a pretty hard move to pull off yourself um, especially keeping yourself in the frame all the time that's a really hard thing to do. So having the Mavic do this on its own, pretty cool. Um, and you get a look at, <laughs> at what I do to make these videos. Controller over here, camera over here. So this is what I do for you guys. I hope it's helpful. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, this is a great option for you to be able to, you know, have, if you're not vlogging, having your hands free <laughs> and being able to, to set up a follow me mode like this. And you know, if I change speed to start walking faster, it adjusts automatically. Now you're gonna move in that frame, but it's gonna pick up on you and adjust its speed as well. Whoop, and I'll just stop real quick. It's gonna fly a little bit further. Notice that I stopped and stop itself. Now again, you can't actually like move the drone around so your right sticks aren't working right now. But if I was to turn, uh, you know, and face in different directions, you can do that. So it doesn't have to be, for example, a selfie kind of mode, right? You could actually turn the drone around much of the same way that I talked about in um, the point of interest mode. You can point this anywhere, right? Let's point it right over here and I'm gonna walk and like I said, it's still gonna maintain that same distance. So I'm flying the drone right now. It's moving, but it's not tracking me in the frame, right? Let's go ahead and raise the altitude. So I'm raising the altitude with the left stick. It's maintaining that equal distance to the controller. And it's flying essentially without me touching the right stick at all. And if I was to stop walking, the drone will stop moving. So that's kind of a neat trick, I think, for follow me mode. It doesn't always have to be this like selfie kind of, of use for it. You could actually use this in a lot of different ways to control the drone, keeping it at a certain distance in front of you, and then moving the controller uh, in, that, in that direction. So as you're walking. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and walk back now, reframe up the image. Now it's going to follow me. Uh, I'm going to see myself again here bring it down in altitude adjust the gimbal really hard to do all that smoothly in one hand while you're while you're holding your camera in the other hand to vlog but uh, you get the idea of how this all works for you and yeah I think it does give some unique opportunities for uh, using this in cinematic in cinematic ways the active track I'm still gonna give the nod to um, because that does work, at least in my case, I wanna be controlling these movements as best as I can. So I think I have a little more control in active track. Uh, but yeah, I think it still works really well. So another thing to be cautious of is I'm actually heading towards a tree right now, uh, but you can't, the Mavic can't see it. 
because it's flying sideways. So you're gonna need to be make sure that you know you raise that altitude to do a little bit of the obstacle avoidance for it. Um, because unlike the Phantom 4 Pro, which has sensors in all directions, this one only has sensors facing down and to the front. So you gotta make sure that you're keeping an eye on everything. So, all right guys, let's get this thing back on the ground. All right guys, so I hope that was helpful today. Just showing you another mode for the Mavic Pro and another awesome way that you can use this little teeny tiny drone to get incredible cinematic footage. As always guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.